here we are implementing the full adder using Verilog HDL and FPGA based systems. So first you are supposed to open this app IIC project navigator and herein you select file new project and name your project here we are naming it as FA3. Next uh, you have to check the family has to be right Spartan 3A then the device and the speed has to be 4. Here you will click, click on FA3, check that the device is correct, XC3S50A, then click on new source and select Verilog module. Here name the file FA3, next, next and finish. Here you are supposed to write your Verilog HDL code, we have already written it here, so we will just copy it. Once you have written your code, you are supposed to check it. So we'll go here to simulation, click here and ch uh, check on behavioral check syntax. Once it's verified, it will be visible here, process completed successfully. Once you're done with that, you'll click here, right click and click on new source and click implementation constraint file. Here you are supposed to write the, all the ports that you will be using. Once these ports are defined, we'll save the file. Now start the implementation. Here you will click on synthesize and we will start synthesizing. Once the synthesis is complete, uh, it will be visible here with the checkbox. Then you will start implement design. Once the implementation is complete, it is visible here. If any errors, that would also be visible and then you are supposed to rewrite this code and then synthesize again and then implement again. Here we have it uh, successful. So we'll click on generate programming file. Now that all of the three implementations have been successful, now we'll connect our laptop to the FPGA board. And open device manager on our laptop. Now in this you'll find ports COM and LPT. Now you'll see USB serial device COM4. You have to Note this and then you have to go to Elbert. Open this application. Now you have to select the port. Now as we saw the port was COM4, we'll select that. Now we'll open file. Our file was saved in local disk E and we named it as FA3. Now we'll find the bit file here. We'll open it. Now you can see file selected FA3.bit. 
Now we'll program. Once this is completed, we can verify our truth table using this FPGA board. Now, now as you know, we used dip switches. Now we'll verify the truth table. Now, as you can see, for ABC, if we put them on zero, we have no LED bulbs going on. Now, if I put C as one, now some LED glows up now if we go to the next uh, case which is 0 1 0 some led glows up now if i go to the next case which is 0 1 1 the carry well glows on and similarly we can verify the truth table for all the other cases and hence our experiment is completed.